Okay, so we're gonna test a plugin in Pro Tools with Smart. Uh, and we're gonna use the QLab rack and we boot it up and we wanna use the analog ins and outs. So open up Pro Tools, name some session, name it barf, I don't care, save it to the desktop, whatever, save it to your folder. We're not gonna be turning in or using the folder, the session, it's just here for testing. So I create my barf session. Do need to make sure your driver is using analog playback engine and make sure it's set to HD native Thunderbolt, nothing like Dante Virtual Sound Card, anything like that. And of course you probably should reset your IO like you always do. Look, that IO is already wacky. I can already tell that. So I'm gonna reset all my IO like we always do because if you don't, you'll end up troubleshooting your IO and that's not what you wanna be doing when you're testing plugins. It's just not what you wanna do. So with that done, all you need to make is a single track or a single aux input or something like that. Pass the signal from one end to the other. I'm using an aux input so I don't have to arm the track. And that's all I gotta do. And uh, I'm gonna source it from input one. And I'm gonna output it from input one. So it's just doing a loop through the system, nothing complicated. I do need to feed it, and you're gonna need some D subs and plug them in. D subs are in the, should be in the drawer right here or somewhere else if someone messed a mess for you. And I think you guys already know how to use Pro Tools interfaces, at least you should. Uh, my inputs are gonna be female jacks. Uh, and I'm gonna make a, even more of a cabling mess here because you know, I like cabling messes. My life is a little bit cable and I'm gonna find the inputs. So the top interface of course is the first interface this is kind of a mess and that's still kind of a mess. And uh, I'm gonna go from analog input one. I'm gonna use the plus four connections. I'm not even gonna screw it in because or lightly screwed in because this isn't gonna be here very long. And uh, of course the outputs have a male plug so I'm gonna find that same first interface analog output. And that should be pretty simple. Maybe screwed in, maybe not. Just don't make sure you, make sure you don't break it. I'm gonna turn this thing around here and it's pretty simple. I need to plug here my two XLRs that are feeding, um, they were here a moment ago, that are feeding in and out of smart, my transfer curve. And I wanna go in and out of input one. Hey, I know my Resistor colors, brown is one. So I'm gonna go into brown on this one and out of brown on this one. And the numbers are weird. This one says 17, which would be number one on if the snake were used for something different. So I should have a loop here. And uh, it doesn't appear to be working, of course. Let's go over to Pro Tools, I'm sorry. Let's go over to Smart and turn on the signal generator. I'm gonna put it back to pink noise so it's full bandwidth. And I am getting a transfer curve. So I believe it is working. Oh, and it is working. I don't know why. I guess I just had to reset the thing. Um, and immediately, go check out Smart. See all that wrapping? Huh. What does that tell me? It tells me that there's a system delay issue. So I'm going to find the delay going through the latency of the computer. And it's taking, hey, a whopping 12 milliseconds. So there we go. Now we have, so let's hide the old traces here from previous experiences. You can see it's kind of flat. You can see there's a little bit of a phase issue. I still have a little bit of gain. I'm going to turn down my measurement slightly and input channel input one on my, is that going down? It's all the way down. So I guess I have to turn up my reference so I can flatten that in the middle. So classic, you know, procedures for a transfer curve, even level and set the gain. And you can see there's a little bit of phase response that might, you know, has something to do with Pro Tools filters. That's just the way it is. So now the fun part starts, but we'll do that in another video.